Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to do the throttle body. Uh, we got the BBK 78 millimeter throttle body. We went ahead and went with a 78. That way when we do some other changes later on down the road, uh, we already have the 78 and we'll have to buy another one. So we uh, was actually going to wait to do this whenever I got the intake in. Uh, I bought a, a performance intake and I wanted, to, I wanted to wait and put that on together. But then I was like, man, I would like to see what kind of difference that makes by itself. Uh, if it makes a you know performance difference, I would like to see by itself. And then when I get the intake in, do the intake with that and see what kind of difference that makes. So uh, we're going to get some tools out, get the hood popped up. We're going to jump right into this thing and let's see what it does. So let's go. the old one. It's pretty dirty. Right, I think we gotta take, gotta take this off, put it on a new one. I got the cap on for that or the fitting. That's laying up there so we get the new one out the box. They give you, they give you new bolts. They say use the new bolts because the lengths of the old ones might be different, and putting the old ones in could possibly bust your throttle body or your plenum. So try to use your new bolts. I had to take them out of the package, which is dumb. I should have left them alone, but I'm assuming those two go to throttle position. Those two go to idle air. I wonder if those two go to throttle pit. All right.
Guess what we gotta do? We're gonna have to get another boot. Maybe not. Make that work for right now. Not good if this right here is the same. You can't get no airflow to it. Maybe that'll hold and get a bigger clamp. That's the kind of stuff I wish I knew I needed. I could already had it. Alright, we gotta have an ETR bolt. Bolt, I said bolt. Alright, we need an ETR bolt. We gotta get another boot and a clamp. And one of these. But, for the time being, I think that's everything.
start it up and see what it does. I think that's everything. Still, I don't want to... I'm not understanding this. When it's plugged up it, and you rev it, it takes it a while to come back down. I mean, I'm not understanding that. I put two of those on. I mean, if y'all could, if y'all know anything, please help me. I, I don't, I don't get that. I try to narrow the gasket. I, I don't know. I wish I could delete this. I don't know. I mean, if that's possible or what. I got a thing that you, a cap that you put on it to cap it off. But it just acts crazy. But it runs all right with this unplug and this hooked up. If y'all know anything, please comment down below and let me know. I'm, at this point, I'm kind of desperate I'll try anything because I'm not understanding how you get it to, to, to stop doing that. Like I said, I've put two of these on. 
I've tried them different ways. I've tried to cap it off. And I think they said that you had to, you know, get somebody to go in and, and program it to, to delete that. It's, it's the idle air control valve. So, but we get two short bolts to put in this and a bolt to put in this because that broke. And that will be all right. And I'm excited about that. That sounded good. Man, that sounded good. I can't wait to take it out and drive it. Uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to get a couple GoPros too. That way we can start putting them in the car and ride around with them. So, uh, I think we're going to be all right. I think we put that other intake on when it comes. We got the lowering kit. I've been looking at some rims too. I'm a real, I'm real big in the, uh, let me, let me get, I don't know if y'all can see me or not. I'm real big on these cars here with the factory rims. I love the rims, but I found some the other day and uh, I think I absolutely fell in love with them. So I think I may get them, put some new set of tires on them. And uh, I think with that, the new exhaust, the intake, uh, waiting on the intake to come in to match up with that throttle body. Uh, them rims, man, I can't wait to have them things on there. Uh, I got the hood scoop. We painted it. I know y'all already seen that, but I got to redo it. I had a run in it. I got a, I got in a rush with it. My first time really ever painting something like that that's going to be visible out. Uh, but that was fun. So, But I'm going to sand it back down and repaint it. Uh, the lowering kit's already here. I got to attack. We're going to take it and get the exhaust get a new exhaust put on it because it's hanging and it's got an exhaust leak and we can't figure out where it's at so we're just going to rebuild the exhaust and put some better flow masters on it make it sound a little better a little beefier a little louder uh but I, i'm i'm impressed with the throttle body and i ain't even drove it yet so uh of course we got the the new tail lights in i went on here and bought some new tail lights and uh put a little more money with them and get rid of the mold ones they were so moisture i'm gonna put them i probably put the name of them things out there don't buy them things so three sets and they, they, they even the headlights so i'm gonna order some new headlights too and then once we get all that done man we're gonna fix a little i think there's two dents in the car a little dents we're gonna fix those and uh probably paint the car so we're gonna make this thing look good drive good run good i mean i'm, I'm actually excited about it so uh man that's <laughs> that's neat it looks a heck of a lot better Sounding good too. But that's going to do it for this episode of these Backyard Shenanigans. Uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all go down there, hit like, subscribe. That way y'all be, uh, hit the notification bell. That way y'all be notified every time we put a video out. We're fixing to start getting a little bit further with it, you know, doing other things and, you know, getting, you know, bringing y'all along with us. Uh, starting to feel a little bit better up under the camera. Editing starting to be a little bit better. So uh, we're going to start taking it out a little bit further. So. Uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Uh, takes two seconds of your time, and it helps the channel grow and goes, you know, takes us further. So, uh, y'all tune in. Uh, stick with us. I think we're fixing to make us a beast of a car. I'm hoping anyway. So, uh, it's very exciting. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all have a good day. Till next time. Let's do it, baby.